So folks, here we are at David Hathaway's in Swindon. It's a rather damp, soggy Saturday morning. And here we are packing the bikes up, ready to go to Andalusia. Um, so there's Steve, busy um, playing um, around with everything to try and fit it into the stillage. You've got your stillage case and there's only so much space and so many things you can do. We've also had to fill in a carnet form before we've got here to say what we're going to take without using the word spare. Um, so yeah, so these are all going to be filled with bikes soon and all off to Spain and Andalusia. And now time to gift wrap the bikes. So that's it, that's the two bikes, the Ninja 400 and the Aprilio RS660, all packed up and ready to go to Andalusia in their stillage. So, time to go home and uh, wait another week before we can travel out and join the bikes. Folks, it's what, 3.30 in the morning and we're on the M40 on our way to um, Gatwick um, Airport. So Steve, are you ready for the trip? Yes, I think so. I've been, um, been practicing the lingo. So, um, bonjour, arriba and all that. Ah. So ready to go. Excellent. So you've well and truly brushed up on your Spanish then? Mm, see. Yeah. Okay, well we should arrive at the airport about half past four. So see you there. So Steve, why do I think we're not in uh, Kansas, or should I say Carterton now? So, where are we? On the other side of the bloody road, and it's dangerous. <laughs> but we've arrived in Spain. <clears throat> now, um, drive into the hotel. And, um, yeah, get, get all booked in and everything. A little walk round, find the bearings, and then get ready for tomorrow. Excellent, and just enjoying the spectacular scenery en route. So, folks, arrived at our resort, rather nice, got to say so. Got our own lovely little balcony, um, yeah, add a little kip, and now time to go and find Darren and a few others and go and have a beer. What could be better? So here we are, we've arrived at the circuit and it's time to unpack all of the bikes. There's not many riders signed up for this trip. So instead of three groups and 20 minute sessions, we have two groups and 30 minute sessions and four days on track. So time to unpack the girls. So there you are, there's the girls. They're all unpacked, ready to go. And uh, there's the rest of the bikes in our garage. And this is the view out of the garage of the track. And wow, look at this. You don't get this back at home, do you? 
certainly a backdrop. So, riders briefing is at 9.30 and then Steve is first out on track at 10 o'clock. And we're really, really lucky today is the fact is that we are both going to be riding with Dean Ellison. So, here's to day one. First session of the day, Steve's off out. So, let's see what he thinks of the track when he comes back. So there you are, Steve's out on his sighting lap. We have got the very talented Dean Ellison supporting us today, so it's the first group of riders going out. session what do you think of it what? what do you think of it oh it's brilliant oh, fantastic track but um nearly every corner looks the same so obviously going in you think it's a fast left-hander and it actually really tightens up on itself so um i think it's going to take a full day to learn the circuit but um but you've got dean helping you today yeah yeah he said it was a really good pace so um, can't be that bad so um but yeah it's just like four days so one step at a time the old fat's dripping out of me already so uh, but i'm blaming out on the sun not the unfitness <laughs> okay well it's my turn next Otherwise, um, yeah. But I am uh, Nana Mood, Miss Slow today for definite. But uh, keep pegging away, we're here for four days and uh, see how we progress over those four days. So we've just had lunch, just had. 
had our first one-to-one -one session with Dean and now Steve is back out again on track. So folks, it's day two here now at Andalusia Circuit. We had a very busy but very um, constructive day yesterday with Dean. Um, so we booked today with Dean Ellison Riding Coaching. He spent the morning taking us around, teaching us the circuit, which was incredibly valuable. And the afternoon was spent um, with him giving me and Steve one-to-one -one coaching. Um, which was absolutely fantastic. So today is all about putting those things in practice and just trying to make it habit. So let's go and see what Moody's up to. So Steve, how did yesterday go for you? Yeah, really, really good actually. It's um, had a full day with um, with Dean and um, yeah, just learned, learned loads and loads of stuff basically. It's, um, what I was really impressed with was that he picked up one of my weak points, which is, um, I know was a weak point beforehand, but didn't know what to do about it, because um, that's where, like, mostly when I get overtaken, that's the point, you know, wherever it is. So um, he picked that up straight away, um, give me some tips and advice on how to fix it, and um, so that's what I'm going to be working on, and, you know, body position and stuff like that as well, and I think the same for you as well, isn't it? Body position and stuff. So, um, yeah, for me, it was opening the throttle fully rather than three quarters, which he picked up in the first instance. Yeah. Um, which, uh, yeah, and I'm revving been the... telling you that for years, have I? No, 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 and he also told me to rev the tits off of my little bike rather than coasting around the corner. So, I've got lots to put into practice myself today, but it's another glorious day here in Andalusia, so uh. Let's get them levers on. Stunning track, um, hard to learn, um, really, really technical. So, which is a good thing because if you practice on really hard stuff and there, yeah, then um, yeah. So it's um, so all good. More track time.
Just doing his tire pressures, getting ready for today. And everyone else is talking shy as per normal. So yeah, we're all ready for day three. <laughs> so Steve's just ready to go, getting ready to go out on his first session. Let's see what he makes the conditions out there. So not many are ready to go out yet today um, everyone else is just kind of waiting and seeing what the weather's going to be doing
So folks, it's day four here in Andalusia. Yesterday was a bit of a manic day. Um, again, um, with uh, back-to-back sessions with Dean. Um, even though it was really windy, it was a fantastic learning experience. And I would totally and utterly recommend a day with Dean Ellison. So if anybody is thinking about fancy upgrade on their bike, I don't know, thumb brake or whatever is needed to go one hundredths of a second quicker, before you do so, just invest in a day of Dean. He didn't tell me I needed to change my gear in. He didn't tell me I needed to change my suspension. He didn't tell me I needed to change anything on my bike. Just tweak a few things that I was doing. So today it's to put it all into practice. It's still a little bit windy out there, but the sun is out, the sky is blue. We've had the most fantastic time with the most amazing people. Um, Darren, Lou, Andy, Pete, um, and, and Ron, they've been absolutely fantastic. And we have laughed so much. I've cried with laughter. I've ended up with belly ache. Um, it's been absolutely brilliant. And as for old moods, well, thanks for bringing me away for a romantic week in the sun. Loved every second of it. So folks, let's go and see what everybody's up to. And um, let's see whether or not moods can get a 210 as predicted by Dean today. So the bike's just fallen up for session number one. And Darren is going to take the uh, Prillia out on the first session. Um, because on day one, first session, he had a slight mishap with his bike. Um, something to do with a piston going up through something or other. You know me, I'm not technically minded. Anyway, basically the bike is good bump. So he's going to ride the little Aprilia. So it'll be interesting to see how he does and what he thinks of the RS6. So there's Darren, aka Armadillo Man, going out on the Aprilia. Andy on the Yamaha.
he? Do you want to tell everybody why? He says with a silly big grin over his face. Oh, because I was having a little giggle moment. Because um, Dean set me a challenge this morning to do a 210. And uh, got the lap time on, went round, I did a 209.94. And then just got all giggly and stupid and thought I'd better come in because I'm just, yeah, couldn't do something stupid now. So, uh, so yeah, so I just spent the whole lap just giggling my head off, thinking that I just want a MotoGP race. And, then... and there's Armadillo Man as well. <laughs> Fantastic. So, a day, or should I say two days with Dean Ellison has been worth its money. Oh, yeah, 100%. I'll tell you what, you could spend the same money on the bike and it wouldn't give you any way the, the, the same benefit. Cool. So, yeah. Right, let's enjoy the rest of the day. Absolute mega blast session with Lou. Absolutely, a pair of us are dragging each other along, and Steve is absolutely buzzing. He's got down to a 209 on the Aprilia, and absolutely loving it. Thanks again, Dean, for helping me out. Made Lou pair really happy. I can hear him chuckle as he goes past.
So Steve, the, unfortunately that session got red flagged, but bike and rider are okay. So you've decided to call it a day, but you're calling it today on a high? Yeah, yeah, I think so. It's, um, I, I can't believe I, I went on my lap time, it said a 208.95, and that's on that tyre. Having loads of moments now, so um, so I've had a fantastic four days. You've had a really good time. You've been absolutely outstanding with your times and everything. To go, what, what do you go? Fifteen seconds left. Twenty. Oh, 20. 20. Let's get it twenty. So um, yeah, you can't you can't get better than that. <laughs> right. So you go and put your bike in the stillage, and I'm going to go and have a couple more sessions. <laughs> Shit. done with had an absolute blinder of a time and uh, time to wrap the bikes up so that they can head on back to England and then we will pick them up next Saturday so thank you no limits for a wonderful four days here in Andalusia and thank you to everyone on track for making it such a special occasion for us so let's go and have a beer Oh, I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 